Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm Jan. I'm a VR enthusiast and developer of the Army. The next level of virtual reality gaming. Yeah, that's right. It's a big piece of equipment, but I think it, it, it fills uh, a void that is there right now. How do you physically walk around in a virtual world? And this solves that problem. Uh, now we have a headset like the Rift that works really well. Uh, tracking devices have become affordable, such as a Razer Hydra. Uh, Kinect works well. And this is the next step. This takes virtual reality to the next level. This allows you to walk freely and naturally uh, in your favorite game. No more just sitting down using your mouse and keyboard. Uh, this gives you the true virtual reality experience where you just walk around, or you run, you jump, you crouch, uh, whatever you would like to do. All within that. So you could really moonwalk in there. Well, the idea is that it mimics a natural gait. So we'll try to, even though it's a low friction surface, we really try to make you forget it on the Christian surface. Try to mimic as if you're walking on a, a step. The metal in 360 degrees, so basically the 360 degree omnidirectional metal, if you will. Except that it has no moving parts. I, I'm guessing this is going to become the next piece of exercise equipment because geeks are going to lose so much weight on this thing. That's right. We actually got a quite some inquiries from uh, corporations and also from media that cover the fitness and the exercise market. Uh, because people indeed see the potential for exercise uh, to make fitness and exercise more fun and more engaging. Uh, so I, I think it has potential beyond gaming, exercise, fitness, but also training, simulation, uh, military contractors have reached out, physical therapy, even there's a lot of, of possibilities for virtual reality beyond just gaming. We use the Kinect right now to track the walking motion, so the Kinect tracks the legs. And so when you're walking, uh, our software gets that signal from the Kinect and transits that into keystrokes. Uh, the Kinect also, and our software can also recognize jumping, crouching, uh, strafing and so forth, running versus walking. So that's what we use the Kinect for. The head tracking is done via the, the head tracker in the Rift. You're going to support more than just the Kinect. That's right. Uh, we are working on an integrated Ooh. tracking solution using accelerometers uh, and magnetometers uh, so that you don't need, you don't need the Kinect. The Omni will come with integrated tracking hardware and software. Wow. Oh, he's over there. Standing in the apparatus. I mean, I don't feel. Oh. Uh, I say that as I die. Whew! I got winded playing a video game. I am breaking a sweat. I don't know if you can see that there, but wow. This really works. And it didn't take that much to get used to it. I could do it again. I just need to take a breather first. <laughs> On June 4th we're going to Kickstarter with this. Uh, the Kickstarter community and the VR community in general has been very instrumental in, uh, in helping these new VR innovations come to market. This is a, a device, we've been working on this for the last two years, a lot of researching at the beginning, then prototyping, uh, experimenting, and here we are, uh, a couple of prototypes further. Our next step is to get this through the manufacturing phase, and that's why uh, we'd like to, to go to Kickstarter and get the help of the community 
uh, to raise funding and to get us through manufacturing and uh, ultimately in the hands of as many uh, gaming enthusiasts, VR enthusiasts and so forth. We want to get the Omni out to the people. I think the people want this. I think, I think it's the next step in, in VR and entertainment. So I, th I think it's great and uh, I want to give as many people as possible this, the same experience. Well, I had a great experience. I'd assume you've been in the world of VR so to speak, for a while then. Yeah, and, and this has been uh, the result of, of uh, my passion, really, my, my enthusiasm for virtual reality. I started focusing on, on how to solve the problem of locomotion, how to be able to walk around in a virtual world. And uh, now here we are two years later, we come up with, with the Omni, which I think solves a problem in a, in a way that is affordable for consumer, it fits in a living room, and, and above all, it, it just allows you to walk freely and naturally in, in the virtual world. Yeah, see, that was the, I mean, it was interesting having used the Oculus Rift sitting down with a game controller. This was a completely different experience. Same, same product, I mean, the Oculus Rift, but yeah. this transformed the Oculus Rift experience into, I think, more of what it should be. Yeah. Because I was immersed. I mean, I was yeah. more inside the thing that I thought I was already far inside of when I yeah, you know, played yeah. with the Oculus Rift. I can say played, I mean, if I had it on my head. And being able to move naturally and then walk or run naturally, that, that is really what, what keeps your brain in that virtual world. Instead of, oh my, I'm pushing a button, that, that doesn't feel right. Yeah, it was easier to look exactly where I wanted to shoot rather than having to aim a control you know, right. you know, and try to get it perfect to, to, yeah. to hit it. I, I never had you know, full hand-eye coordination, but I, I know where I'm looking. Yeah. That was easier. If you want to see Diana in the Omni, well, you'll have to watch that Perillo vlog also in this very channel. Subscribe if you haven't already.